We're bringing together multimedia tools, multimedia technology, and knowledgeable heritage officers, blending them together into pinpoints on maps and maps in pockets. So what you're going to look at here is an event which draws most people to Tipperary, which is the Rock of Cashel. A secondary event which draws people to culture, which is the Walls of Feather. And you're going to watch people, my students, as they walk near these walls and tell you a little bit, if you can hear them. It's hard to hear them. They're all called Sheila and the Gig. They have one in Kilcooley, which is a male one, so he's called Sean the Gig. <laughs> he's inside, inside Kilcooley. Is he in the actual Abbey? Yeah, in the Abbey. And they have a mermaid as well in the Abbey. Yeah, yeah. I only live the whole of Kilcooley. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. and they don't know where they painted. That's the other thing. It's always so boring in black and white, but you have to always remember the same with high crosses. You have to think them visually, like, they didn't always look like this. Maybe they were coloured, you know, maybe everything, you don't know. Yeah. So you try yeah. and kind of imagine what it, it was, was like. You know, high crosses is a really good example, because you can, if you see them painted up, you know, like they might have in Europe and stuff, mm. it's amazing the difference. Yeah, I could never you know, imagine Yeah, so, because they yeah. look so boring, kind of grey, but when yeah. you see, you imagine the millions of colours on them, and it's different. Like, this is a local initiative. The locals raise the money and put these signs up themselves, and that's uh, yeah. At least if you see the sign and you know yeah. there's something there, you're not just like you know. And then you kind of have to look for it and you think, yeah. oh, yeah, what is that? And, you know. you discover something else then. When yeah, you're for it. <laughs> they're pretty cool. Like they, there's a good few. There is a lot of stuff around town, but again, it's trying to get you know some kind of proper strategy to get people yeah. walking around and access again. Yeah. And is it saying something about feathered and fertility like this? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what went on here? You, you just don't know, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> There is actually a website on the internet just there is, I, like, dedicated yeah. to Sheila Giggs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there's a Facebook thing, Sheila Giggs. There's loads oh, really? of, yeah, yeah you see it. Right around then. Yeah, so this wall. So uh, what would have been so the website? So it's a convent now. Yeah. So you can walk in there now that's accessible. You walk all the way along. Um, then this is a GAA field here. So that the wall is still all around there as well. Like it goes everywhere, but this is all private land. Um, but you can walk through the GAA bit. And there's a gate here, you know, when you're driving, you go through a gate. Mm, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 Where's so the arch? Then? It's here. Oh, yeah. yeah. How much enclosed space, say? What was the area? Oh, God. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. But you'll find it in this. I don't, yeah. I don't remember figures, but I'm sure. And there's a shield in there. Yeah, so let's just give you where we are. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what kind of populations would have lived in there originally? Often no, but if you if you were to read one of these reports, you'd find out. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all about reading. <laughs> but it's all about trying to find the information yeah. that somebody wants. So if they're the kind of questions you have, you know, you yeah. can put them together, and these are the kind of questions oh, you want answered. Anyway, yeah. Like yeah. 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 But it's the kind of you don't want to turn people off as though yeah. too many questions. Some people and, don't want to be. Yeah. Find the balance. Like, just visualize yeah, exactly. and see it. Find the balance and how you can use it. So it really opens your eyes to all this kind of stuff. And yeah. You know, and the potential. I mean, the tourism yeah. potential is huge. Mm. And, yeah. Yeah. And they're having a sense of place, you know, you live in a town that, you know, people, if they, if they, and not that you have to adopt it or kind of take it on as your own, but people, you know, if they like where they live, then they're more likely to look after it. And yeah. Yeah. You know, then it's, a be it's better for everybody. Yeah, it's so. like what you're doing with the kids, kind of starting that off, yeah, aren't you, really? Yeah. yeah, the connection with it. And they're yeah. connected with their, you know, their, every year they have a festival to celebrate the town, mm. and, you know, have crack. Yeah. Bellard is unique in one way. Oh, yeah. I went to my red over Oh, yeah. the unusual name. Yeah, it is really interesting, yeah. And people who come back, <laughs> people who want to, who are from, no, they know they're from Ireland and they want to come back mm. and they look up things like that. A heritage officer's viewpoint, a walking tour's viewpoint, right on the Google, but make it shareable by a single text message. These are creative students that know how to form a story and tell a story in episodes. Tell gravity. And that's how Tipperary Institute's multimedia program brings together old information for worldwide consumption. More details at www.tipins.ie and www.southtipheritage.ie.